Final Web Design. This is Steve. We just merged with another company called Nature's Miracle. And Nature's Miracle, you know, the whole group there, we just went public like three weeks ago. Um, And yeah, like three weeks ago we went public. And so now we're like acquiring companies and bringing new product lines on. Um, and so the website, both websites are just not, you know, they're not what we need and we need to update them. Uh, neither website is built off of SEO. There's no, like, there's nothing to them, basically. They have the product up there, no e-commerce. Um, yeah, so um, that's, you know, that's kind of where we are so we know we're redeveloping a website but how we're going to do it we're not 100 percent sure yet so meaning like are we going to keep both websites are we going to merge them into one website and create a completely new one um but yes like we are absolutely in the process of going through all of those decisions and and we're going to be moving towards trying to figure out you know how we're going to update our website and who we're going to be working with. Okay. And this is the eFinityUSA.com and the nature-miracle.com? Yes. Okay. And you're, you're, these are two separate businesses or they're potentially the, going to be merged into the same business? They merged. So like now uh, eFinity and Nature's Miracle essentially are one company. Um, I guess one way to look at it, like eFinity is a lighting brand and it was its own company. Under Nature's Miracle, we will keep the eFinity brand for our LED glow lights. Um, So it's like Nature's Miracle, if you think like of a bigger umbrella, Nature's Miracle's at the top, and then we've got a million different products and brands that we sell underneath that. And okay. so Efinity is one of those brands that we have underneath the Nature's Miracle name. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. So, so Nature's Miracle is a bigger, more encompassing business or website? Um, it's bigger. So I guess a little bit about each business. So Efinity does LED grow lights and traditional lighting bulbs. So for cultivation settings. Um, that's their bread and butter for eFinity. Nature's Miracle, we do um, EV charging stations. We do container food grow um, and like a bunch of stuff. It's very, it's kind of diverse. So to, to give you an example, like two weeks ago, we just bought a Bitcoin mining farm in Toledo, Ohio, and we're going to put a vertical grow on there. Um, okay. And so we'll do the Bitcoin mining and the vertical grow. Um, we're putting a vertical grow in Las Vegas at a resort um, so that they can grow all their food, not all their food, but they can grow like their leafy greens and their vegetables on site and then have fresh vegetables to, you know, for their restaurants and stuff inside the, the resort. Um, so, yeah, that's that's kind of, there, there are two separate businesses, not separate, but it's, there's kind of multiple concepts underneath the nature, Nature's Miracle name. So we're, you know, um, we do, we focus predominantly on the cannabis industry from the cultivation standpoint, um, the lighting, and we sell like rock wool, so like different grow media. We sell, we have dehumidifiers, um, tables and stuff that we sell to predominantly cannabis cultivators. Um, So we market a lot and cater a lot to the cannabis market. And I would say that probably 90% of our revenue today is generated from the cannabis industry. Um, and that's quickly changing as we do these vertical farm grows because they're, you know, just an example, like we sell you five containers, uh, six containers total. We sell that to you for a million dollars. So for us to sell a million dollars worth of lights, we got to sell a ton of lights, right? Right. Um, right. So we're, and we've got some deals in place. So we're going to start generating a ton of revenue from the other side of the business. But for right now, about 90%, I would say, is from the cannabis cultivation space. Okay. Okay. Well, 
I mean, um, we could definitely, you know, help you. Are you gonna need this? I see on Efinity that you do have like an e-commerce store, but I don't think you're actually purchasing through the website. No, it, and I don't even know if that e-commerce thing works or not. Honestly, like, um, it might be there, but yeah, I don't think I don't it's working. They do. I don't think it works. It was one of the things that I brought up to them that, like, hey, we can sell at a higher margin on ones and twos if people uh, can purchase directly from the site, and sometimes that's what people like to do. So, um, yeah, so. Yeah, I don't see it as um, current, but in the new site, would you need that feature? Like, are you, is, do you need an e-commerce or just informational? Um, you know, that's where some of the decision making is going on right now. I'm the director of sales and marketing. So, I mean, you know, I, the conversations I'm having are with our CEO and COO about how we want to do this. And personally, I think, you know, I brought this up that like, we need to have an e-commerce component to this. And they were like, yeah, we will once we redo the website down the line. And I'm like, no, when you redo the website, you're going to do it. You know, you're going to, I know that you can build a website based on SEO and then you're going to add in the e-commerce. Like, you're going to do it all at once. Why would you wait? You know? Um, right. So, yeah, I mean, I think e-commerce will be a part of the website revamp. Um, I, I do. So, yeah, I think that would be something that we would be looking for. I mean, like you said, if you're going to kind of rebuild this from the ground up and kind of start fresh, you might as well go in with the mentality that you're going to do e-commerce just from the start because you're kind of redoing everything, which would make it easier mm -hmm. than to put all these products up as information and then try to go back and make them all into uh, e-commerce pages. Yes, I agree. I agree a hundred percent. So that's kind of where I am. Like, I think, you know, once we actually are able to sit down and have this conversation, uh, they will also agree. Like, why would we build this out now and come back and try and do something later? Like that doesn't make any sense. So, um, yeah, I think it would be a part of it from the start. Yeah. And this you looks know. like it's laid out in a way that you'd want an e-commerce to try to automate some of the business and, you know, take orders and, um, because you have all these individual products when I'm seeing throughout the site. Yes, yes. And like, you know, from the lighting standpoint, I mean, shit, they probably have 10, 15 different lighting products. And then you get into the cocoa and they've got, you know, a ton of different SKUs on the cocoa and they've got rock wool and there's a million SKUs of rock wool. And, and I, I guess in the grand scheme of things, it's not that many, but you know, for a company like this, it kind of is because with the rock wool, you've got 20 different sizes or something, you know, it's a bunch of different sizes of rock wool cubes that you need to put up there so people can see that you have all the different sizes. Um, and then, you know, you add in the dehumidifiers and the tables and all this stuff and it starts to be like a lot, you know, so, um, but yes, I mean, we want people, we want it to be laid out where people can kind of go to it and see like, oh, they have this and I think it just makes sense, like, if you get somebody on your site, why wouldn't you take advantage of that and give them the opportunity to purchase from your site? So, obviously, we don't want to undercut our retailers, and that's on us to structure the pricing so that if people come by from us, they're buying at a higher price, and that's their choice. Um, but, yes, I think, you know, ultimately, that is something that we do want, so. Okay, and, okay, and how many products do you think you have I mean not as far as different sizes and stuff but just like actual products a hundred a thousand oh no 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 not that many I mean like from the cannabis standpoint we have rock wool cocoa lighting dehumidifiers nutrients tables um I don't know that might be well and see, this is the thing too, like we're, we're trying to revamp the website here, but we're also acquiring companies as we go. So like we're looking at acquiring this company um, and they offer extraction equipment. They have software, they do controls, they do a bunch of stuff. I mean, if I had to guess like each product, not going into how many different SKUs of each product we have, I would say a hundred or less. Okay. Okay. That's an idea though. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
Well, I mean, yeah, we, we could definitely help you with this. I mean, we would probably recommend, I'm not sure what these are built with. Are these WordPress or? That website? Yeah. The website. I don't know, man. It is like, <laughs> I don't think so. It's not, I don't, it's old. Okay. Like whatever it is, it's, it's archaic. I mean, so even like our, like, you know, other companies I work for, like your email would be whatever, whatever at the company.com, you know, like our email addresses, I guess they are that, but like we can't even host our email on Google or Outlook or anything like that. Like we literally have to do that on webmail. Oh, really? Wow. So <laughs> that's, yeah, that's a throwback. Yeah. Yeah, so like when I go on my computer to get on my email, I have to go to webmail.com and then log in and like, you know, it's not like you're, you just, or like your email up there, like Gmail or something, you know. Right. So, well, we could, you know, if we did take this on, we could get you on a better system or however your hostings and servers and emails and that would allow for something like a G Suite or like you said, Outlook or. Yeah. Um, yes, and that's something that we need. We've discussed that, and I told them, like, we can't continue to operate like this guy, but, you know, <laughs> we have got to get this stuff switched over. So, I mean, it is something that they're, you know, they're aware of. Um, it, it sucks right now, man, because, like, we're going through these acquisitions, we're doing fundraising, we're, you know, bringing on these product lines, we're hiring a bunch of sales reps and marketing guys, and so there's just like so much going on and each person is wearing so many hats that some of the stuff is not moving forward. And it's not because we don't want it to, or we don't need it to. It's because we just don't have the attention span or like the time in a day to get to everything. So like the shit that's most pressing comes to us or when people call us, we can answer the phone and we can deal with it. And by the time you're done doing all that throughout the day, you look and try to work on something else. And it's like, there's no time. So, um, and that's why I've been like really pushing these guys hard. Like we have got to hire somebody to do this. Like, I don't know what you guys are thinking or why this is like the hiring of someone, because like, I mean, the stuff that I'm kind of describing to you, I mean, the timeline on this, if you guys started on Monday, we're talking six months, right? Before you guys um, would be finished doing all this. I wouldn't say six months, but it's definitely not going to be overnight. Probably closer to three to four months. And that it okay. really depends, you know, how much edits, changes, revisions, um, how quick communication, how fast we get assets like product images, you know, logos, things like feedback on designs and UI. So it, I wouldn't say six months, but it, it definitely takes a few months. All right. Yeah, um, that's what I figured. And so, you know, testing, I mean, and launch, that... it all takes time. Yep. Yeah, that's what I figured. You're not kind of expecting that I said that six months, but I mean, as that's what my expectation was. Is like, well, this is going to take a minute, so we need to get moving on this so we can really get ourselves going here. So, um, cool. And then, so like, say we were to do something with you guys. I mean, we bring you on, we start redesigning the website, all that stuff. After the website's up and running any maintenance or like security, any issues that go on, like you guys handle that? Or is that something that we would be expected to find someone else to do? No, so we actually have a like um, package or service once a website's launched. Now you don't need to do this. We can put you on a GoDaddy or a Bluehost or, you know, but we do offer a service where we'll continue to host the website. We'll secure the website. We'll do all the future updates, upgrades, you know, as a, the platforms evolve and technology evolves and then any like edits and changes and things you guys need going forward we do have like a package for that um if you wanted to if not we can launch your website you can go to another company or manage it internally but um we do have a package for that that i i do recommend a lot of people use because you know technology is always changing it just keeps things relevant secure you know, all the hacks and spams and all that stuff is just out of control these days, so. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So. Um, cool, and then as far as like continued support from like, uh, 
SEO standpoint, AdWords standpoint, you guys do all that, I assume as well too, like once the website's up and running? We do, so we, I mean, as far as like the SEO, we'll include all that in the actual development of the new website. So all the meta tags, title tags, you know, image descriptions, alts, things like that. We build all the on-page SEO into the website for Google. And then, you know, the rest of it's more of like digital marketing. So Google ads, uh, blogs, social medias, the Facebooks, the Twitters, the Instagrams. I mean, it's really kind of how aggressive you want to be from there with the digital marketing element, but we do all of the on-page SEO when we build the site. Okay. So, all right. but we, we usually will look at the website first, get that online, and then kind of follow up from there with the marketing plan because it's really how aggressive a business wants to be. Like, are you posting stuff every day? Are you doing it once a week? Are we doing videos? Are we doing graphics? I mean, it, it can really, there's a lot of negotiation there as far as what a business wants to do. So we always look at the website first because it's kind of useless to drive traffic until you have a, a good converting website, you know, for 2024. Okay. All right. Kirk, if you cool. have a good email, um, I can uh, send you some more information and at least you'd have like a proposal of what we could do for a general idea. It won't be exact, but you have an idea of our e-commerce and I could send you some examples and things like that. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Um, I can, did you have something to take it down right now? Yeah, I can, I can jot it down now. Okay, cool. I will uh, I'll just kind of review our conversation and send over more or less like a e-commerce with like around a hundred products. Um, you know some of the features that we talked about that'll give you at least an idea if you want to get other proposals or you know pre present it in front of uh the other you said ceo and cfo and stuff um we can definitely get you at least some information and then from there if you have other questions we could talk about it together or go over it or but i think that would be the best next step Oh, that's what's up. Yeah, if you shoot something over, then I can definitely share that with my team. And, uh, yeah, if we can review it. And then, uh, I don't know, I assume that, you know, after we review everything, we can maybe do a follow-up call, maybe do a Zoom call yeah, uh, with a couple guys from my team. I work, you know, for, like I said, predominantly, like, I work with our CEOs, um, COO. CFO, president, and vice president. That's kind of like our management group there. So we work closely together every day. And so if you send something over, I'll review it with those guys. We're all decision makers and, you know, we can we can figure stuff out relatively quickly. So. Excellent. Well, yeah, I think the next step, I'll try to follow up with that in the next business day or two. And then um, you can review it with everyone. And if you have questions, we'll we'll discuss or have another meeting from there. Cool. That's what's up. Absolutely. Well, it's good to meet you. And uh, um, yeah, I think as Zach knows, you know, we're, we're one of the, we really care about our projects and clients. So hopefully we can make this work. Yeah, no, Zach had nothing but like really, really high remarks. And actually it's, it's kind of crazy because um, I met, I, I used to be the VP of sales for an LED lighting company. And we worked with a company that Zach worked with. And so he knew my whole team at that company. And I had two guys on staff that developed our website. They did our CRM, like we coded and developed our own CRM for ourselves. Oh, wow. um, all the graphics, all the design, everything, we did it by ourselves. And I was, he said, well, who are you working with to have your website redone? And I was like, oh, well, I'm working with Vinny and Kevin. And he was like, oh, really? He was like, well, I don't mean to like, you know, go against those guys or anything, but this dude's amazing. And I was like, oh yeah, we'll send it over. So, yeah. I mean, I, you know, I like, I like, you know, these guys were not that close. I mean, I, they worked on my team and then we haven't spoke, I left there like five years ago and I've spoken to them only a few times, maybe a year since then. So I was just, you know, hey man, like whatever's best for this business is what we're looking for. You know, it's great to work with people you know, but at the same time, if they're not the best option for you, then you got to be realistic about that. 
And like I said, Zach had nothing but really, really high remarks for you guys. So uh, honestly, I wouldn't have even taken the. I wouldn't be like, no, I'm, I don't need any of that. But he really, I mean, really had very good things to say. Yeah, so. well, we're pretty established. I'll send you some examples so you can see our our work. Cool. And then you're, are you in Miami? That's where you are? Yeah, we're located in downtown Brickell, Miami. So we've been here like 13 years. So we're pretty established as well. Okay. How far is that from Hollywood? Do you know how far uh, Hollywood is? Hollywood would be just into Broward County. So it's probably 30, 45 minutes. It depends on the traffic. Oh, that's not too bad. No, I mean with the traffic though, it's it's kind of bad this time of year. But um, no, it's a uh, distance wise, it's not okay. too far. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, I'm gonna be down in Miami. Well, I'm gonna be in Hollywood for an investment conference on the 16th, 17th, maybe 18th or something like that. Um, but yeah, who knows? I mean, we'll keep the conversation going. Right. And who knows? Dude, yeah, maybe, absolutely. Maybe when I'm down there, we can grab some lunch or something if you're in town um let us know but i'll start by getting you this information and even if you're not in town we do do a lot with zooms facetimes skypes i mean <laughs> you know it, you name it cool. these days uh it's pretty easy to keep online stuff moving but yeah if you're in town if you want to stop at the office it'd be great too cool awesome all right well cool man yeah i look forward to seeing what you got to send over and uh, if there's any questions or anything comes up while you're doing it uh, obviously feel free to reach out at any time and uh, I'm sure we'll be in touch soon. Great, I will talk to you soon Kurt, nice to meet you. Yeah, you too, thank you. Take care, bye. Uh -huh.